Good morning. So, I ordered a new hitch for my Lexus GX. I shouldn't say new. I ordered an old, rusty, probably from somewhere in the north, um, hitch. Still perfectly fine, but it's got a decent amount of rust on it. And so, I thought I'd just do a quick video about what I'm doing and how I'm removing the rust. So I've used this on lots of older parts and car parts and things that I've had in the past. It works amazingly well. And it's electrolysis rust removal. So what we've got going on is essentially we've got a DC power source. Now for me, I like these little power pucks. I've tried to use car chargers in the past, but they're not as reliable. They've got enough sensors in them to say, yeah, it's not right, I'm not going to work. So instead, I've got a 12 volt uh, power puck. You can read on the back of them what their output is. That's a 12 volt, 2 amp. To cut the lead off and split it. So I've got a positive and a negative. So if we take a look at it, got it split. I just, with a voltmeter, I marked which one was the positive side. So all I'm simply doing is running positive electricity to what's called a sacrificial anode or sacrificial piece of metal. Um, and the important part is that it's not actually touching the part we want to clean. So positive is connected up to our metal. I've got water, very importantly, filled with baking soda. Um, you can use washing sodas a little better. I don't have any washing soda, so I'm using baking soda. We need that to be an electrolyte to allow positive ions to flow in the solution. And then I've got the negative side connected to the part I want to clean. Very important that the negative is connected to the part you want to clean, otherwise it goes the other way and it gets sacrificed. So you can see it's producing some hydrogen and oxygen gas. Basically, it's um, reversing the rust process and it's quite active, right? And so we're just letting it run and, uh, and it's just gonna keep running and running and we'll let it run overnight and it's gonna knock all the rust off. Any kind of paint that's under rust or on top of rust is gonna come off. And then at the end of that, um, we're gonna clean it up and paint it. So I'll follow up tomorrow with uh, kind of the second half of this once it's clean. All right, so we're back, it's day two, and I've since flipped this guy over, and I also took it out last night, and I just took a simple screwdriver, scraped off. Once this had sat for a few hours, all of the, the heavy rust had started just literally flaking off, so I just scraped it off. I took a wire wheel to it for a minute, but it all just came off, literally with a screwdriver. And then I put it back in and let it keep working, so it's been working pretty much 24 hours at this point. Now I'm ready to take it out and we're gonna clean it off and we're gonna hit it with uh, Loctite Rust Dissolver, which is basically just phosphoric acid, which what, what it's gonna do, all these rusts, it's basically navel jelly. All they do, which is a great thing, is they create a coating of iron phosphate, which is permanent and rock hard and will seal up the metal and make it not rust. And then you can paint over that. It turns it black and it makes it inert um, and it'll turn any kind of like small bits of rust um, flash rust it'll turn it black and make a permanent seal so we want to get all the big stuff off which is what we did now we're going to clean it up seal it up and paint it all right so i disconnected the power and disconnected it from the part so now we're ready to take it out and see what we got So here we are. So I got a little rust on it. You know, probably could stand to sit for a few more days. But we're gonna wipe this off and we're gonna knock it off with a piece of a little wire brush, and then we're gonna hit it with our acid. Alright, so we got it all cleaned up as much as we're gonna get it dry, washed it off, got all the grease off of it. Got it cleaned up, and you can see now we've got a lot of good shiny metal uh, where the rust used to be. And now we're going to apply our rust dissolver, uh, and we're going to let that seal it up. This stuff is really thick. I'm using a nitrile glove and just a super cheapo. I should mention I got this at Lowe's. Um, just a cheapo brush. It's real thick, so all you got to do is just spread it around and get it on there. And we're going to let it sit and start to do its work. 
All right, she's coated completely. Um, pretty easy to go on. It's really, really thick. Um, like really, truly is navel jelly. Um, I just poured a little bit on the brush and just brushed it all around. Um, now we let it sit for five or 10 minutes and then we rinse it off with water. So it really doesn't matter if the part is still wet when you get started. Um, because it's, you know, it's basically gelled water and you're going to rinse off the water anyways. So, here we go. It should start to turn black and we'll come back in five or ten minutes. Alright, it's been about ten minutes. Um, so now we're starting to get, starting to dry. That's what it looks like. Now I'm going to go rinse it off with the hose in the driveway. And if any of you are wondering about the environmental impact, uh, literally it's fertilizer uh, once it goes down the drain. So, uh, and very little of it, but it's definitely not toxic or poisonous. There we have it, all washed off, cleaned up, pacified. I'm gonna blow it off with some air, sit it out in the sun for a few minutes to dry, and then we'll paint it. All right, so here we are. I ended up putting on two coats to really make sure I got it all. Washed it off, dried it with compressed air, letting it sit in the sun for just a minute to really get dried off, and we're gonna paint it. Here we go. Alright, so it's the next day, and here it is. Paint's all cured. Looks great. Looks brand new. So, next video, we'll be putting it on the GX.